travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleco. I have not done one of these what's in my carry-on long haul edition for too long because I just haven't been that far. I've just got off the plane flying from Auckland, New Zealand to Shanghai in China with Air New Zealand so please check out that video, it's linked in the description box below. This is what I use for my carry-on. Air New Zealand has a limit of 7 kgs this is well over 7 kgs, let alone combined being 7 kgs. I have this little strap that I got years ago in South Africa. It caters for anything. I've carried my coat like over my suitcase. It's so nice to be hands free. It's nice to be able to push it along so easily. I've had this away luggage for a little while now and I haven't used it as much as I would like. So we've just got to go up here yet, but Pretty much what's in my fossil handbag is, is the same as it was years ago when I did film that. I think the only thing that's different is I've now got a water bottle. All of these items are linked in the description box. The hand sanitizer now and wipes and extra masks, but Air New Zealand gives masks and you can always ask for more, which is great. I'm the no jet lag again. And I think this is why. I, I know these are homeopathic. I don't know. And maybe I'm just biased. They're made in New Zealand. This is now another time where I have really enjoyed them. I feel good now. I got this down even during the flight because I had three seats to myself. This is the bigger away luggage. I did actually buy this in the States. Is that even though it is a hard shell, there is a lot of give to it. So even though this is clearly overstuffed, it all fits with all my paperwork. I'm still working. <laughs> I've got work this afternoon later and I'm tossing up like, do I have a snooze now or do I try and stay up? And plus a lot of documents just in case they need to see the hard copies of them. Sometimes I put my laptop in inside here. I have a 13 inch and it fits fine. Cause you know, you've got to get it out through security and with a clamshell, it is, I feel like it's such a fat. I think today I actually just had it loosely in here. I didn't zip this up. This is, this I bought for my old laptop, which was a 15 inch. And I've just kept it because it holds A4 paper perfectly fine. Just a few miscellaneous things, tissues, some money, the um, dry erase thing to clean this, not that I've even bothered to do that. In the bottom half I have a pouch for my cables, my charger for my laptop lives in here too. I've done a review on this before which I did use today and this is the first time I've gone to use it long haul. It doesn't quite fit in my handbag. I have to have my handbag. My handbag is always gaping open anyway. But I kind of have to have it sitting and it sits out quite far. So I might have to rethink this. But I do use it every day. It's going to fit under my mattress here. It's where I put my glasses every night. It's fantastic. I have my silk pillowcase, which is now the first time I've used it. Long haul, which was so perfect. Because I had three seats to myself, then I lay down and slept. I mean, I was in fetal position. I was a bit squished up. I didn't use it as a neck pillow because I was lying down today because it comes in this little pouch. My original idea was to just fold it over, which if I was sitting normally in economy, you could totally do and then just have it like that. However, today I actually put this inside the pillowcase. I put the pillow inside the pillowcase. Oddly enough, even though it's this is not what it's designed for, is to lie on a flat, you can actually maneuver it. So it's actually really quite comfortable. I think it is because of the memory foam with the squish in it that it just it totally worked. It didn't work in all directions, but for so many, and I definitely did conk out. I've got a tiny little hairbrush because I was, I couldn't find one that I liked before I left. <laughs> so I ended up with a wee one, and I'm actually really glad I did. So I literally sat in my seat and did this. My bathroom bag. I know you're supposed to have it in the clear. I do actually have one and can put liquids in it but they didn't ask me to so that's fine this is an old first class emirates pouch from a few years ago it's the bulgari or was it from business class it was definitely emirates and i've just stuffed it with all all the things i have a video with these in it it also sits on the t at the top because i didn't know 
if security would ask me to pull it out, they didn't. I've got my tripod, even though I didn't use it. And like, why am I not using my tripod right now? I should be. My foot rest that I ordered off eBay last year. I, I wanted to try it out, but then because of my seating today, I didn't end up doing so, but I'm sure there will be a time. I've got some Barocca travel adapter with the USB ports. These are some cashmere socks, because I change my socks. So these socks I'm wearing now are the ones when I, the same that I left home. But for the flight, I change out and put these on. They're warmer, even though these are merino socks, which I do have a video on. These are cashmere, and they're just delicious. This is my other pillow. This is seriously a dollar that I bought in Australia many years ago from some $2 shop. And it's just a rectangle, but what I did, and it's inflatable, had that underneath quite a high pillow, which was really nice. It worked very nice today. A little notebook that I always carry. More masks, a reusable shopping bag. I clearly had no idea where to put this. This should have been in my big luggage. I don't know why it's in this. <laughs> This was also a last minute addition. This is my um, washing line because I'm in an isolation hotel right now and I have to do my own washing in the sink. And then you just pull it through, like if you're washing some underwear and hanging it up or whatever. And it just hangs by itself. So wash and wear and looks close enough to the airport that I shower just before my flight. So I've just got some extra underwear in here. Again today, because I didn't know what the food situation would be like, I packed a bumper bar. Kiwis will know what this is. And I found a cliff bar. I know I had this in the States years ago. I had another pouch for my electronics. So my charger, my battery for my camera, except I've got it charging now, uh, microphone another adapter for here and then i have one packing cube of clothes so in this i've got an extra bra because i was going to come to the hotel and take a shower straight away i haven't done that so it means i don't have to go into my big suitcases and are heavy so i wore them from christchurch to auckland and then in auckland i went into the bathroom and changed into my merino tights because they're just way more comfortable the Lavinia top from Kathmandu. I'm ready for sleep with my PJs. That was on the bottom. In the top half, it is a bit of a disaster. Because of the food situation with the isolation, I don't want to be hungry. So I have my shaker and I have a couple of shakes and I'm actually going to have one now for lunch. I bought a whole lot of the Opti Slim Less Chemist Warehouse. <laughs> So I have a couple of flavors there. I am not dieting. I know I'm a big body and I could totally do with dieting and I know this is the purpose of these primarily. If you check out my next video of what I've bought for quarantine, this is one of my solutions. When I went through isolation in New Zealand, I was hungry. Even though I liked most of the food, the portion sizes were too small for me. With the New Zealand on board, with the New Zealand on board, there is a like a food button, and you can ask for snacks and drinks, and they bring them to your seat. For some reason, I only binged it. I binged it once to ask for some water, I think, and then another time to get a Milo. And each time they brought me snacks. I'm in isolation. This is beautiful, and I think that's why they were giving me these. They're like, oh, we know you're gonna need these later. Literally, three packets of Ouija. Also, get cookie times, and it's just the wee ones. I've never had these, the original plant based cookies. I've never tried these. I got four of them. I got this for Christmas. So, and I was just like, oh, that's 150 grams. Uh, let me not put it in my like, in my big luggage. I have my winter coat, which you've seen definitely on my channel because I knew it was going to be cold when I arrived. I didn't actually use it, that's why it's still in here, um, but because there was going to be so much time mucking around in Shanghai Airport, which there was, as you're just sitting 
Yep. Bring some layers. Um, this is the canvas bag that my fossil bag goes in. This is my degree. It's, I recently got it framed and I just haven't opened it. I just need to my Louis Vuitton uh, for sheet accessoire because you're supposed to carry your valuable items in in your carry-on. So what else I've got here? I actually did think through some of my packing. Sometimes I just throw in random things. I didn't know the heating situation, so I bought a hot water bottle and a cover because I knew that there was going to be a jug. There's always a jug in, in Chinese hotels, pretty, pretty much always. I am a very cold person. I know right now I'm sitting here like it's nice, but I figured out it took me a while to figure out which was the heat setting. I didn't use this on board because they have a, a multi-adapter in the seat. And yeah, I just haven't had my snacks yet, but everything else I've used. Which means I've packed rather well. The last time I weighed it, it was without my laptop, and I know my laptop's over a kilogram. 10 kgs. Because I'm coming to isolation, and... <laughs> And I just didn't know the food situation and seeing other YouTubes when they fly into China that there's hours of waiting at the airport. That's why I had food on me. Right, I'm gonna have a brocca and then I'm going to have a Opti Slow. I hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.